guys and welcome back to our channel thanks for coming back if you're a subscriber and if you're new to our channel I'd love it if you could subscribe we're posting lots of videos now about how we're preparing our flower farm for the season ahead so last week I was showing you how I'm going to prepare my new growing area from a grass field into productive flower beds so watch that one if you want to know how we are going about doing that this week I want to show you how I am tackling the weed situation on the farm this year so last year and probably for the last three years we've really struggled with weeds and the main reason why is because I bought in some compost about three years ago now and it was just full of nettle seeds and other kinds of seeds and we've been uh, dealing with the repercussions of that ever since so one of the solutions that I have found works is to cover the beds with weed membrane so now as you can see behind me there's just weed membrane everywhere so today i'm going to talk you through how i prepare my weed membrane and how i cut the holes in the weed membrane so that i can plant my plants through those holes So first things first, I need to get the right length of weed membrane cut for the bed that I need to cover in my polytunnel. This roll has been scrumpled up in the corner of the shed for a couple of weeks now because naughty little storm Dennis decided to unravel it all and leave it blowing all over my field. So I've used my measuring wheel to measure out the distance of the bed inside this shed where it's nice and sheltered and then I'm going to cut it just with some standard upholstery scissors. Then I'll just take it over to the polytunnel uh, to lay it out and peg it down in there. These are my templates. Uh, this is a nine inch spacing template and I've got three more which are six inch spacing, 18 inch spacing and 12 inch spacing. So these are our different sized um, plant spacing templates. So we're starting there with the six inch template. Then we've got the nine inch template and then we've got the 12 inch one and the 18 inch one so in the description below I am going to write a list of all the things that I am using with these different plant spacing templates firstly if you want to start making these templates for yourselves then you're going to have to get a few tools and bits and bobs together to start with so the first thing you're going to need is obviously some galvanized sheet metal um, which is what we went with or you I've seen people using wood before as well but obviously wood eventually becomes flammable so um, this just seems like a good thing to use it's not going to rust and um, we're not going to burn it either so I just bought this from a guy in Hull who does things with this sort of this steel so this is about two or three millimeters thick and he actually cut these um, out for us as well and it is four foot wide by two foot on that side and the next thing you're going to need is a hull saw so um, I bought this from Machine Mart and it is 83 millimeters wide so I thought that this was about the right size for being able to plant a baby plant into so it seems to work quite well for us so we've planted all of our ranunculus and all of this bed is planted up here and we didn't really have any problems with the size of the hole so obviously the smaller the hole the less chance you've got of weeds germinating in that hole as well so once your plants filled it up then it's not likely to get weeds growing around the base of it either to start with we tried using our battery drill 
with this hole saw and it just wasn't quite powerful enough um, so we had to use a plug-in drill um, but if you have quite a powerful battery drill then it should do the job um, you just have to go through it really carefully so what we did was we laid these sheets on the floor and we marked out the spacing and we placed some wood underneath and cut through so when we cut through we're not just cutting straight into the ground it's going into a piece of wood underneath so this is our nine inch spacing template which is the most common template that we're going to be using here on the farm and as you can see center to center of each hole is nine inches so we started off by just marking a little dot in each in the middle of each circle and what we've done is we've staggered um, each row of planting as well so this row this row and this row have the same basin and then this row and this row do as well so as you can see this weed membrane that I've just put down isn't the same as this weed membrane here because that one has the grid markings on which are really really helpful and this one doesn't for some reason I didn't obviously notice until it was too late so what i'm going to do is i'm going to measure in from the edges of the weed membrane and i'm just going to use my chalk to put a marker down so that when i start burning my holes in the weed membrane they're going to stay nice and straight along the full length of the bed So what I can do now is I can go along and burn the holes with the blowtorch. So it just takes a quick little movement, um, don't go mad on it, just quickly get it burnt and then move on to the next one um, and then you're not going to start burning things that you shouldn't be burning. <laughs> I've burnt my first 13 holes in this weed membrane and as you can see how this is designed is so that when we pull this across we make sure that these top three holes are lined up with the holes that we've already burnt and then we've got these ones to burn now so this helps us to stay in line and line up with the previous ones. So there you have it guys, that is how I am burning holes in my weed membrane for me to plant through later on in the spring. What I'm going to do is draw up some templates of how we made our sheets here and then you can use them to create your own at home. I'm also going to tag the tools and everything that I use down below in the description so I'd love it if you could give us a thumbs up and write us a comment if you found this video useful and I hope it's going to help reduce pressure from weeds in somebody else's field too. See you again next time love from me and Ellie <laughs> she's not feeling it